A lot of you guys have taken notice of my buns. I get asked all the time, what's your burger bun recipe? How do you make these buns? So I thought I'd make a full video on exactly how to do it step by step. It may take some time, but they really don't take that much active work. It's mostly just rising time. I promise if you start making these for your burgers and sandwiches, it'll be much better than the store bought and it'll take your burger game to the next level. So without further ado, let's make it. Make the dough, get a large stainless steel bowl, then add two thirds of a cup or 170 grams of warm water. Then add one tablespoon or 15 grams of white sugar and a half a tablespoon or seven grams of instant yeast. Mix and let sit for about five minutes or until foam starts to develop on top. Next, add two tablespoons of vegetable or canola oil and one egg. Whisk to beat the egg and combine everything very, very well. Add two cups or 300 grams of bread flour and one teaspoon or five grams of fine sea salt. Take a spoon and mix until it forms a shaggy dough like this. It should look slightly sticky. Transfer to a non-porous clean work surface. Please just give your counter a quick wipe or you'll end up with pepper dust or miscellaneous crumbs inside your dough. You're gonna knead the dough for about five to 10 minutes, stretching forward and folding it back into the middle. When the dough is too sticky to fold over itself, you can do some slap and fold by picking up the dough from the center and slapping down the bottom and folding over itself while twisting to the side. To tell if your dough is properly kneaded, you're gonna rip off a small piece and stretch it at all four corners. If it tears in the middle, there hasn't been enough gluten development. So keep kneading for a couple of minutes and try again until you can stretch it and it doesn't rip. Use a bench scraper to roll your dough in a circle to form a rough ball. Grab a stainless steel bowl, place your dough ball in the bowl and cover with plastic wrap. Let rise for about one to two hours or until it roughly doubles in size. When it's done the first rise, punch out all the air and dump it onto a work surface. Roll into a rough cylinder, cut into four to six pieces, depending on how big you want your bun. If you want large buns, do four, which is what I do here. If you want smaller buns, then cut into roughly six even pieces. To form your buns, grab one of your pieces and then pinch the edge and stretch it in towards the middle. Turn the dough and do this about three to four times total, pinching into the center. Place the dough ball seam side down onto your work surface and cup your hand around it. Roll the dough in circles to close the seams, creating tension and a taut little ball. Repeat this with each of your dough balls. Grab a large baking tray and line with something non-stick parchment paper a silicone mat or just rub it with oil if you don't have these place all your dough balls evenly apart making sure there's about minimum three inches in between then you're going to want to press down with your fingers to make them wider so push down pretty aggressively then cover with a towel and let rise for a second time for about 45 minutes to one hour or until they look plump and filled with gas don't rush the second rise they'll turn out really bad so if it takes two hours for them to look like this then wait the two hours then crack an egg into a bowl or container and beat with a fork or a whisk. Brush your buns gently, and I mean gently. You do not want to deflate these guys of the precious air you waited so long to develop. So brush gently over the entire surface all the way down to the sides. So now that they're egg washed, there's a few different ways that you can finish them. It really depends on what style of burger or sandwich you're going to make, but it's really up to you depending on what you want to go with. So I'm going to show you a couple different ways and just choose whichever one you like. All right, forget to turn your camera on, then sprinkle one with sesame, another with black sesame, and slice another down the middle. Leave the last one because we'll do something with it after. Bake in a 425 degree Fahrenheit oven for about 20 to 25 minutes, or until they look like beautiful golden circles from the gods. For the last one, melt a knob of butter in the microwave and just brush the surface, then top with a pinch of flaky salt. You can pick and choose any of these styles to top your buns with, and pick whichever one you think looks the best. You should be left with a bun that has a crust, gives a bit of chew, but still very soft. And that's the recipe. Let's see you make burger buns. You can use them to make any burgers, fried chicken sandwiches, breakfast sandwiches. You can top them with whatever you want, poppy seeds, 
You don't have to top them with anything. Nice, easy bun. They've got good density, so they're not just gonna fall apart, and they can hold quite a bit in them, but they're also pretty soft and squishy. Although they take about three hours to make, you're really only doing work for about 15 minutes. It'll take your sandwiches to the next level, and it's really not that hard. And honestly, it's well worth it. They're way better than any store-bought. So that's a wrap. Hope you enjoyed this recipe. Leave a comment below on what you want me to make next. Merch link down below if you want to support. And that's it. What are you still doing here?